Do you know a super kid? Create a superhero cape that will make his imagination take flight. This tutorial was sponsored by AllFreeSewing.com. You'll need a yard of red costume satin and a yard of blue costume satin. You'll also need some felt and Velcro. A Microtex needle and fabric glue are recommended but not essential. Begin by printing off the free pattern for the cape's neck. You can download this pattern from MadeByMarzipan.com. Just search for Superhero Cape. Margins are already included, so don't scale or resize the pattern. Cut out the pattern using craft scissors. Lay both pieces of fabric together and pin the neck pattern towards the top center. Add extra pins down the length of your fabric to secure the two fabric layers together. The length of the cape will depend on the height of your superhero. You'll want it to come to the middle of the calf. For my preschooler, I measured 24 inches from the bottom of the neck pattern. Add a pin where you want the cape to end. Next, chalk a long line from the end of the pattern down to the pin. Angle this line outward so the cape is flared. Repeat on the other side. Join these with a straight chalk line along the bottom. Cut out the cape along the chalk lines and around the neck pattern. Remove the pins and separate the layers. Now you can make your symbol for the cape. You might want to use your Super Kids initial. Cut the shapes from felt, then adhere to the back of the cape with fabric glue. I prefer this over pinning since the fabric is so slippery. Top stitch to the cape with an 8th inch seam. Next, pin the two cape pieces right sides together. I recommend switching to a fine Microtex needle, since the slippery fabric has a tendency to snag. Sew the pieces together with the half inch seam. Leave a four inch hole along the bottom edge of the cape for turning right side out. Clip the corners. Make notches and outward curves and clips on the inward curves, being careful not to clip your stitches. Turn the cape right side out. Fold the raw edges of the hole inward and top stitch shut with a quarter inch seam. Continue top stitching all the way around the cape. Since you can't press this fabric, Pause every so often to roll the seam between your fingers to create a crisp edge. Finally, we'll add the Velcro closure on the neck piece. One piece should go on the red side and one piece will go on the blue side. I like to make the soft loop side rather long so that the fit is more adjustable. Sew the Velcro in place. This simple cape is perfect for imaginary play. This tutorial was sponsored by AllFreeSewing.com. Coming soon, a tutorial for superhero accessories like this mask and utility belt. To download the superhero cape template, please visit my website madebymarzipan.com